yesterday, Lil Baby Sean Spicer defended the 10 golf trips that the current guy has taken in his eight weeks in office, yeah. each which costs about $3 million per trip to Mar-a-Lago. Uh, and how long has he been in? Like 25 he's minutes? He's been he's in been, 60 days. Yes, he's in 60 days. He's had 4,000 trips. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, and you just made a very well, interesting, I, yeah. I was just saying, he's, he has spent nearly $10 million in taxpayer funds on travel in his first month as president. President Obama spent $12 million a year. Okay. That's, a, that's yeah. significant to me, yeah. especially when we talk about the cuts in funding to Meals, and wheel, well, meals let's, on let's, Wheels. We're going to get to that because there's... Uh, Spicer says that this is just the, this is just what happens when, you know, when you're president and you take these trips. But, I mean, it is eating up Lil Palm, <laughs> you know, where the, the city he's in, yeah. where mar lago is. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's happening here as well, Palm Beach. Yeah. And it's happening here, you know, we're paying, we're paying a lot of money. You have the we're numbers for Melania. We're paying $3.5 million mm -hmm. a week to keep Melania in Trump Tower. Wow. Taxpayers. That's your money. He ran as, your money. Uh, as the money. people's president. That yeah. he was all about. He's a numbers guy. Populous. People. He kept saying, yeah. "I'm a, I'm a yeah. businessman. I know numbers." Yeah. Yeah. As someone that's aware of all those things and donating his his. Now it looks very small, four hundred thousand um, dollar income to a charity. That doesn't even yeah. cover we'll any secret service we'll for a few days. Like, and I'll but, tell you why, because he's a phony. Because this is how you spot a yeah. fake fiscal conservative. Right. Someone, that's right, because you know what? I am a fiscal conservative, and I see these numbers, and I don't care who's president. I don't want taxpayers paying for this kind of nonsense, and I don't care if you're a Republican or you're a Democrat. Yeah. Well, they're letting them do it. Well, he I ran as a fiscal you know conservative. What? He's a Here's phony. How they could do. Here's how they could work it out at Mar-a-Lago. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tell us what. They always call it the Winter White House. Yes. Yeah. Right? That means it's the people's house, yeah. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So if they charge each and every one of us who go down because we want to walk through the people's house. Well, maybe spend the night. <laughs> maybe spend the <a> night. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can spend a night in the White House either. But I'm okay. just so saying, bedroom, but people should be, that's okay. right. Yeah. People should be that's able to walk museum, through. <laughs> people should be able to walk through Mar-a-Lago yep. if it is, in fact, a winter White House. Yes. Yeah. Okay? And the, what they charge to go through that winter White House could offset what Palm Beach is paying, yeah. what we're paying here. Maybe. If this is yeah. Yeah. another White House for us, yeah. let's all just go and visit. I, would, I wouldn't mind visiting. The other thing that we're spending money on, I was reading today, if someone can back me up, I think, the whole Trump family went on a ski vacation, and that's costing yes. money also. Yeah. So, you know, to just quote Mulvaney, that guy who said, why should the uh, oh. single mother in Detroit have to pay for people's food on Meals on oh, Wheels? Yes. I say unto you, Mulvaney, why should the woman in Detroit, a single mother, have to pay for Hans and Fritz's vacation? Yeah, yeah. right. And this is, this is one thing, you know... Um, Meals on Wheels, as I've said before, means a lot to me and my family. Trump has already spent enough on trips to Mar-a-Lago this year to pay for 6,000 people to get Meals on Wheels for an entire year. Wow. 6,000 people, so and that's where the this, cuts are? Let me add this to you. You know, he's taking these golf course meetings and not at the White House. He's making sweeping cuts. and uh, So here's what we, he's removing, as you know, public funding. Yes. Okay. So without that funding. Here's what we would not have had. The v Vietnam Veteran Memorial. Mm -hmm. Critical funding for plays like Rent, mm -hmm. Sesame Street, yes. the King Tut exhibit, and Alice Walker because she got a grant mm -hmm. to write The Color Purple. Yeah. None of those things would have happened mm -hmm. yeah. without public funding. Yeah. So people aren't eating and Sean Spicer also called Meals on, was it Meals on Wheels? He called it a cute a cute program. He said, I know it, you, it's good to talk about cute programs like Meals on Wheels. Dude. Come on. <laughs> you know, the people who <laughs> voted for him need to get with the program now because you can see now. that you guys are not getting anything out of this. He's yeah. also not intellectually consistent because if you were someone who believed in respons fiscal responsibility and our debt and were passionate about that and you were looking to cut things and, and, and dig into programs that people cared about, but you were also willing to cut your own expenses and not take these fancy trips, people could look at you and say, well, this is what he's about. This isn't what he's about. This is what he's about for you, but not for himself, yeah. which deeply deeply bothers me. Yeah. Yeah. But we did warn you. <laughs> we, we did. Warned you. We've been warning you. We but you know, th there's uh, oh, we, I guess we're going. We'll be right back.